and welcome back to another amazing video here on Universal Leadership Development. Today I'm very excited to share with you the knowledge and wisdom of the law of the E.F. Hutton by John C. Maxwell, which is the fifth law and also with his newly revised book, The Law of Addition. Stay tuned. Make sure you have your notebooks, your pens ready. Take some notes because this is going to be free gold given to you. Law number five is the law of E.F. Hutton. And the law of E.F. Hutton simply states, when the real leader speaks, <laughs> people listen. Now, a couple of these laws in the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership are related. For example, I have found that the law of E.F. Hutton is closely related to the law of influence. Remember, the law of influence basically says leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. The law of E.F. Hutton says, when the real leader speaks, people listen. But let me talk to you about this for a moment because I have found that this is a key in understanding people. For example, what I have found, and, and there are so many examples I can give you in the law of, of E.F. Hutton. What I have found, for example, in a group, and let me go back to my team and, and using this kind of as an illustration. What I have found is that if you get in a group of people and there's a decision to be made, the people in that group will automatically look at who the real leader is. They just will. For example, let's, let's just say Bridget is the real leader on the team, okay? What's your name? Rob. Rob John's my name. Nice to meet you. Okay. Rob, let's say we're in this group, and, and, and Bridget's the real leader, but Chuck is, is he's kind of got the floor. He's talking about something that he'd like to see passed on the, on, on the team level or whatever. Okay, now, if Chuck's talking about something he thinks is very important, and maybe it's a budget item, and maybe he's wanting some more money for his area or whatever it is. Okay, here, here's what I'm saying. If Chuck's talking about something that's very important, of which a decision is going to have to be made, but if Bridget is the true leader, I mean, she's the real leader. She's the influencer. She's the E.F. Hutton. It's Bridget E.F. Hutton, okay? <laughs> Got the picture? Here's what I found. You and the rest of the team, while Chuck's talking, are watching Bridget. Because you, what you're doing is she is the E.F. Hutton. She is the real leader. And you're watching Bridget because she's going to, by her actions, give you some kind of sense of if she's excited about this or not. Does it make sense? And if, if, if for example, if Bridget starts nodding while Chuck is talking, the rest of us, we, we kind of smile a little bit, and we start nodding while Chuck is talking. And Chuck's talking, you know what Chuck's thinking? He's thinking he's doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Ch Ch Chuck's, saying, Chuck's, Chuck's saying, oh, this is really good. I, you know, I, I'm, they're, boy, they're really, hey, I'm glad I prepared this speech. I'm really doing good here. Well, Chuck, you're doing good, but that isn't why we're excited. See, see, we're nodding because E.F. Hutton, Bridget here, the real leader, she's nodding and we're getting her signals from her. Just ask Chuck, if you were given the same speech and, and, and Bridget's got her arms crossed and, and, and you know, she's kind of like, no, we don't want to do that. You know, we're not. And we all start crossing our arms and you start, Chuck, you start saying, man, I'm, I'm not doing a very good job with this. Well, no, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. You see, the issue is not whether you're doing a good job or a bad job. The issue is that E.F. Hutton either likes it or don't like it. And we take our signals always from the real leader. Now, let me just explain for a moment. This is very key in leadership. Let me give you a pointer here, Chuck, that will help you. If you've got a proposal and you want, the, you want the rest of our team here to buy into your proposal, what you really need to do before you have our, the meeting with us, you need to take Bridget to lunch. And you need to, you need to have a meeting with her. And you need, to be saying, you need to be saying, Bridget, I just want you to understand that, that this is important. And you want to get her buy-in. In fact, Chuck, if you're a smart leader, when you come to the meeting, if you've had the meeting before the meeting, again, remember? If you had the meeting before me, if you're really smart, you, when, you get, you, when you do it, you'll say something like the rest of the team. You'll say, team, by the way, Bridget and I have talked about this. And we think it's a good idea. <laughs> Woo! That does a lot. See, because all great leaders take the vision, Chuck, from me to we. And until the vision is a vision of we, it's not a great vision. 
And what you need to do is you need to understand who the influencers are. You need to know who the EF Huttons are. And this is very key because what I have found in leading now for 30 years, I have found that a leader's responsibility is to pick out who the EF Huttons are. And, and you know what? It, Bridget may be one of the influencers, may be one of the EF Huttons. What's your name, sir? Jay. Jay? Jay may be one of the influencers. And see, as a leader, I, I, I say, okay, man, I need Jay in this project. I, I need Bridget in this project. What's your name, sir? Tommy. Tommy. I, I might say, okay, i got to have Tommy in this project. Okay, what I do is, I, here's what I want you to know. There may be a couple hundred people in the studio, but what I, you have to know is you have to go to the influencers. And, and, and if it's Jay, and if it's Tommy, and if it's Bridget, if these are the people that are the influencers, I need to bring them in because they're the EF Huttons. And it, when they speak, they're going to carry the ball for me. In fact, here's the way I have always tried to do it as a leader. I've never had a meeting with everybody until I've had meetings with the key people. And if what I would do is I'd walk into a room like this and I would say, listen, gang, I'm very excited about a vision. I'm very excited about something I want to share with you. In fact, for the last couple of days, uh, Jay and Tommy and Bridget and I have been talking together. And what we've decided is this is the best way for the organization. In fact, let me tell you something. Tommy gave me a thought on this that's just tremendous, and I'll throw in a Tommy thought. And, 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 and you know what? When, when, when we talked about this, Bridget said we ought to do this. And, and Jay, Jay, what you said the other day about this, you know what I'm doing? I'm tying them all in. So they're not just following me. They're following E.F. Hutton, Jay. And they're following E.F. Hutton Bridget. And they're following E.F. Hutton Tommy. They're fought because the real leaders have the influence. And when the real leader speaks, people listen. Haven't you had sometimes, haven't you seen this happen where somebody stands up and speaks? And as they're speaking, nobody's paying any attention? <laughs> huh? Haven't you seen that? You know, I mean, I, I, I've watched them. You know, somebody's up there just speaking and, 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 and nobody's home. Nobody's home. In fact, there's been a lot of times I wanted to, I wanted to stand and say, excuse me, sir, excuse me. None of us are home. <laughs> I know you're exercising your jaw a little bit, but they, <laughs> we're not listening. Remember, oh, well, I'm kind of old, so I remember there used to be a TV show called The Gong Show. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And what happens, somebody's up there speaking, and, and when people get tired of speaking, somebody could take a, you know, like a big mallet and go over and gong that sucker, and they had to be done. I've all thought... Every business me needs a gong show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah, and, and when somebody's up there and you're just tired of hearing, you say, could I have the mallet, please? Could I have the mallet? You know, not the ballot, please. The mallet, please. And, and just go over and gong that sucker and let it be done. Let it be done. Because the law of E.F. Hutton said, when the real leader speaks, people listen. That's why it's so important for you and I to understand that we've got to be more than positional leaders. And in your notes, let me explain the difference between positional leaders and real leaders. Positional leaders have a title, but not always a following. Where real leaders have a following, but not always a title. Positional leaders influence positional people. I've seen that happen all the time. Oh, you're Dr. So-and-so. Well, I'm Dr. So-and-so. Here's my card. Here's your card. The only people, a lot of times, positional people lead, lead or control or influence are positional people. But real leaders, they influence everyone. In fact, let me put it this way. <laughs> when you have to tell people that you're the leader of the pack, you're not. <laughs> And every once in a while I have somebody say, well, you know, I just have to declare my leadership. I, I just have to stand up and say, hey, 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 hey. I'm the leader. Follow? That's why I love the leadership proverb. It says, he that thinketh he leadeth and hath no one following him is only taking a walk. <laughs> and don't you know, okay, people taking walks? Why? They're taking walks because they're not E.F. Hutton. So, what makes a real leader? What defines a real leader? Look at your notes, because I think this is huge. Real leaders become real leaders because of character. In other words, who they are. Real leaders become real leaders because of relationships, who they know. Real leaders become real leaders because of knowledge, what they know. Real leaders become real leaders 
because of intuition, what they feel. Real leaders become real leaders because of experience, where they've been. Real leaders become real leaders because of past successes, what they've done. And real leaders become real leaders because of ability, what they can do. What I've just shared with you about real leaders becoming real leaders, spend some time there. Ask yourself, am I a person of character? Do I have good relationships with people around me? Do I know what I'm doing? Do I sense what's happening to those around me? Do I have good experience? Have I had some good wins under my belt and some past experiences? And, and do I have just good, decent ability? Because the law of E.F. Hutton says, when the real leader speaks, people listen. Law number five is the law of addition. Leaders add value by serving others. Now, this is one of the two new laws in the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, Revised Edition. You see, for 10 years, as I taught the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, I kept saying to myself, something is missing. And after a few years, I realized it was the law of addition, adding value to others by serving others. You see, as leaders, we either are adding or we're subtracting. Uh, go to any organization, go to any government, any business, any educational institution, and, and the people that are there will tell you that that organization is either better because the leaders have added value or it is not as well off because those leaders have subtracted. What's the secret of adding value to others, serving others, putting them first? And that's what the law of addition is all about. And there we go, guys. Another amazing video. Lots of powerful information. I hope you guys take notes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And within the description below, there is a link so you guys can go ahead and test your knowledge. See how much information you retain today. And if you have any questions and if you felt uh, that this was very helpful, let me know in the comments what did you like the best. Thank you.